So do you want to be on dialysis? Of course you don't want to be on dialysis. Some of you might be saying, Dr. Damien, I don't even know what dialysis is. How do I know if I want to be on it or not? All right, I'm going to show you. Say, for instance, you have to come in, sit in a chair for three hours, thumbing through old recycled people magazines, while a nurse sticks you with two needles in your arms, one for blood that goes to a machine that acts as your kidney, and the other one for blood that's coming back to your body. And on top of that, you would have to do that Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for the rest of your life. I know what you're saying. Does not sound fun. So the other question you might have here is, Dr. Damien, I understand what you're saying about dialysis. And I understand you're saying that the machine acts like a kidney. Well, what the hell does the kidney do anyway? All right, I'll tell you. So the kidney acts as a filter. So if you take an idea or, or use, for example, a coffee pot or a coffee filter, so a coffee filter, you put the grounds in, you pour hot water over it, you get delicious coffee on the other end. You keep the grounds, you throw that away as waste. So the kidney essentially works the same way. So what the kidney does is it filters blood, keeping the waste that you excrete out of the body in the form of urine or pee, if you allow me to take it to the streets. If everything is working well, the kidneys function well, you're doing okay, all right? So the problem is that the kidney has a couple of haters, big time haters, and that's diabetes and high blood pressure. Diabetes and high blood pressure hate to see the kidney shining. They do not like it. So what they do is they work on blood flow. The kidney needs healthy blood flow. Diabetes and high blood pressure hates blood vessels. They destroy blood vessels. They work all night to make sure your blood vessels are not in tip top shape and they never get tired. 24 seven, they're working against you. So the way that you stop these major haters is, hey, if you don't have diabetes or high blood pressure, don't get it. So that's the biggest thing. So the way that you do this is, at least once a year, you need to follow up with your doctor, get some blood work, get your blood pressure checked. They even have these uh, different things at Target, Walmart, where you can be able to check your blood pressure. Your blood pressure should be around 140 over 90 and below. And for diabetes, your blood sugar should be 126 and below if you haven't eaten anything. So B, if you have diabetes and have blood pressure, then you need to control it. So that means that you need to keep a good partnership with your doctor, primary care physician, uh, and at least four times out of the year, you need to follow up with them so that you can keep your blood pressure below 140 over 90, your blood sugar below 126. If you do that, you keep these haters from damaging your blood vessel and damaging your kidneys and keeping you off dialysis. So that's the vid. So why don't you like the vid? If you like the kid, subscribe if you haven't already done it. And I know before I forget, this is just advice. Everybody's case is different. So make sure you follow up with your primary care doctor to make sure that you're on the right track. This is Dr. Damien. Talk to you later.